This is a third force which helps in the healing of the patient because if the patient has got confidence in the doctor who is treating that patient, 50% of the stress is gone because the patient knows that I can talk to my doctor. So I believe getting the treatment in Pakistan is much better than getting the treatment abroad. I am Dr. Shahida Khwaja. I am Professor of Anesthesia, Pain Management and Critical Care. Now I am heading a department of uh, anesthesia which covers three private hospitals of Lahore and I am chairperson of that group which is known as Call Associates. I became doctor just by coincidence because I come from a background where everybody was in a business and there was no concept of becoming going into medicine. But my father wanted me to become a doctor. I wanted to do MBA because of the business background. Somehow I wanted to fulfill the wishes of my parents and that's how I entered into the medical college. After doing my medicine, for super specializations, I wanted to go into a speciality where one can do something and immediately see the results. So this way I found that there are two fields where I can go for my specialization. One was general surgery and the other one was anesthesia. At that time, there was very little scope of female surgeons in Pakistan, so I opted for anesthesia. Because in anesthesia, the moment you give injection to the patient, the patient goes off to sleep, you provide relief for the pain that the patient would undergo during the surgical procedure, and when the patient wakes up, you find your patient hale and hearty, which is very rewarding. That's how, this is what I always tell my students also, as a professor, that anesthesia is an art, and at the same time, it's a science. Art in a way because you have to do everything in a way that should not look very horrendous to the person who is undergoing the surgical procedure. And science, because you have to calculate everything according to the size, weight, other diseases which the patient has. Previously, the professor of anesthesia used to take care of all the three things, which means anesthesia, pain management, and critical care. But now we have gone into super specializations of critical care as a separate part of anesthesia in which people from medicine and surgery and other specialities also come. And uh, similarly, in pain, pain in certain countries is only a prerogative of the anesthesiologist. So this is the best thing that I enjoy in this speciality because I believe that the patient is free of all kind of worries and no pain when the cutting is going on. Secondly, anesthesia is very important in a way because the surgeon is going, doing the cutting part. And as an anesthesiologist, standing on the head of the patient, you are taking care of everything which is happening. If there is a blood loss, it's your responsibility to make up for that blood loss. Maintain the blood pressure, maintain the heartbeat. A heartbeat in a way because if the patient bleeds a lot, then there are certain changes in the heart rate. So you have to control everything standing at the head side of the patient. And as I used to say that it is just like Allah Ta'ala ne upar se Israel mariz ke sarhane anesthetist ki form mein khada kiya hua hai. So it's, it's a very important job and now all the educated people, they are more scared of anesthesia than surgery and they ask for that. So when I came back from England in 86, my passion was to introduce a new thing in this region of the world. And uh, it, because in England, it was very common to give epidurals for painless delivery. So I said, I have to introduce this thing. It became quite a difficult task to tell people that this is not going to give you any harm, but it's just like traveling in an economy class and in a business class. So that's how I convinced people. I convinced the gynecologist of that time that please give this facility to your patients. So that's how I started it in Lahore, and I think even Karachi people started it later. One of my very senior uh, gynecologists, 
He said that I went to the labor room. My patient was reading the newspaper. I asked her to push and she pushed and the patient delivered. So that was the luxury of this epidural analgesia. Analgesia means pain relief. Now this uh, epidural has become so popular and so common that most of the people, they like to have it rather than going through the painful procedure of delivering. Now in the past uh, two years, we were really bogged down with the critical care of the corona patients. It was so heartbreaking, especially in the initial few months because nobody knew anything of what is COVID. So that was a time when people used to come to the hospital with different problems like respiratory distress, breathing was difficult, oxygen saturation was so low, and uh, everybody was scared of coming close to the patient because they said, we are going to catch it. So that was a time when anesthesiologist, they came forward. They were the really lead who took care of all the patients in COVID, especially in the critical areas, taking care of the ventilation, taking care of their pain relief, taking care of all the problems that the patient would suffer at that time. Then another thing which is very close to my heart is the, that I am chief executive of a private hospital in Lahore. And my dream was to start a place for the patient care where patient should enter the doorstep and feel that the patient will be taken care. It's very easy to make a huge infrastructure, five star facility or seven star facility. But the most important thing is to have the people who are going to provide care to these patients. And uh, mashallah, the consultants are superb. They are, they have specialized in everything, including cardiac surgery, neurosurgery. You talk of the thing and the consultants are there. Now we are going to start robotic surgery, inshallah, in a month or so, because our consultants, they have uh, uh, gotten the training to start this robotic program and we'll be doing robotic surgeries in uh, urology in general surgery and in few cases of gynecology and obstetrics. So that's what we always look forward that we should be ahead of everybody and we should be at par with the international standards and with the best hospitals who are working all over the world. Because we don't want our people to go abroad to get the treatment. For the reason it's so expensive, everybody can't afford it. And when somebody goes to another country for the treatment, you can't take your family with you because family is a lot of support. You know, one of my friend who works in um, Washington, National Institute of Health working as a clinical psychologist, she said that they conducted a research in which they found that there's a third power, superpower that helps in the healing of the patient. And that superpower is a moral support of the family, friends and everybody who's around you. We are really lucky that the doctors of Pakistan are, if not better, most of them, if not better, are equal to all the consultants who are working either in the best hospitals of America or England or anywhere else. I have worked in England, so I can compare it with the doctors of England. The doctors who are working in the National Health Services over there, NHS. They work for a limited number of hours, eight hours every day. They have got two shifts, morning and evening. So they know that in the morning shift they have to do three surgeries and in the evening shift they have to do another three surgeries or maybe two surgeries if the surgery is long. And the doctors who are working in public sector for the surgical part, they do 10 to 12 surgeries in those six to eight hours, whereas in England they say, okay, we have done this much work, we don't want to do, go ahead. And for all the serious patients, for all the uh, complicated patients, our doctors have got better skills to deal with them than if we compare it with the other uh, developed countries. I tell you honestly, doctors are very, very passionate. They take their patient as their own relatives because this is the basic training that we get that the person who is lying on the table, operating table or the bed, I should take it as my own relative, my father, my brother, my son, my daughter, or in any relationship. We have to be very particular about these things because the, this is a third force that I was telling you, that this is a third force which helps in the healing of the patient because if the patient has got confidence in the doctor who is treating that patient, 50% of the stress is gone because the patient knows that I can talk to my doctor.
So I believe getting the treatment in Pakistan is much better than getting the treatment abroad. Cost-wise, or support-wise, because emotional support is very important. I am so happy that uh, this program has given me the opportunity to tell the, our people around that medical profession is not only the responsibility of the government. There is a lot of need of public sector also coming forward and joining hands with the government to do this public-private partnership because this is the best way we can provide all kind of medical service to the, to the ailing humanity. You know, actually the most important thing is the, is the consultant, is the doctor. Medicine comes the second. So the public should be joining hands with the private sector to get the best medical facilities to the ailing humanity. Thank you.